Hi, I'm Brian Ernie, and this is The Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max. I'm joined today by 14-year Major League veteran and SNY.TV contributor, Frank Catalano. Frank, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. So, a double play can be poetry in motion, but there are a couple different ways to get the job done. Today, we're going to break down a few of those ways, and uh, you can show us from your experience at second base. Sure. Now, one of the most important things to do is to get to the bag as quickly as possible. A lot of guys have a tough time getting there, and it breaks down the double play. So get to the, get to the bag as quickly as possible with the left foot there. Now you're able to react to the throw, whether it's a good throw or a bad throw. If the throw is to your right, simply you jab step here, jab back to first, you have second base as your protection. If the throw is to the left side, you simply take this right foot towards the ball, across the bag, catch it, throw it, and get out of there because this runner is going to be coming in, sliding at you. You don't want to get hurt. You have to jump up in the air. Now, if the throw is directly at you, you can decide what you want to do. You could either jab, step, and throw, or take it across. And you want to change your looks up because those runners, they know that if you're, going to, if you're doing the same one every single time, they're going, to, they're going to slide at you and break up that double play. Did you have a preference in your career? Was there one that you uh, that was easier than the other? Yeah, I always loved like coming across the base because I didn't have a strong arm. So I came across the base and got my momentum going towards the base. Now I've cut down some of the distance and my momentum was going that way. Uh, if you have a strong arm like a Robinson Cano, you could just stay at the base and flip it like this. And again, you have that protection. Well, let's take a look at one of the guys in town uh, at second base. It's Daniel Murphy, relatively new to the position. So take us through what Daniel's doing here. In the first picture, he's using that base as a shield, isn't he? Yeah, you can see him behind the base. The throw was probably to his right. He got it, got rid of it, and now you can see the runner can't get to him because that base is in the way. We're going to switch it up here and look at his jump throw, um, him clearing the runner with his body jumping over. Um, what do you see here from Murphy? Now, this is the one that I like to do the, the most. I would go get that ball. If it was right at me or to my left, I'd go get it, get rid of it, jump out of the way. And you can see Pierre, a fast runner, can't get a piece of him. In New York, we have uh, two very different second basemen, um, whether it's, it's Murphy with the Mets, Robinson Cano with the Yankees. Uh, take me through the differences um, in their defense. I've been very impressed with Murphy. I think fundamentally he's getting better and better, and he works really hard at it. Um, with Robinson Cano, he's one of the smoothest fielding second basemen in the league. Sometimes his fundamentals break down, uh, but he can make up for it because he's got such a strong arm. So we'd be more prone to see maybe a little more mechanical approach from Murphy? A little more mechanical approach from Murphy. Uh, but uh, Robinson's pretty, pretty smooth to watch. Very special to watch over in the Bronx. Thanks for joining us, Frank. Thank you. And thank you for watching The Baseball Show, presented by Pepsi Max.